Hello everybody, today I'm back with another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be doing the mob tutorial and specifically I'm going to be covering the sheep. So let's get right into it. So some basics. A sheep has four hearts or eight help points uh, for some reference. A player has 10 hearts and 20 health points. So a sheep has much less. And uh, the sheep, when you kill it, uh, it drops a wool and mutton, it'll drop exactly one wool, always, and it'll drop zero to two mutton. Um, and so you can kill sheep for wool and or mutton, whichever one. Um, so, and it'll always drop one wool. That's an important number to remember. I'll explain in just a bit. Uh, we also have the shears, uh, which, if you use them, uh, I actually have shears right now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the pen, and you might see this button that shows up near the bottom of my screen, and it says shear, and if you, you can hold it or you can tap the button, the button only shows up for bedrock, but what it does, and let me demonstrate with this sheep, the sheep, when you shear it, uh, you'll notice that normally it would kill the sheep, uh, but that is not the case when it is sheared. So if I shear it, you can see I got some wool here. I got two. Normally, if it would drop one. And so you can get, if you're looking to use sheep for wool only, um, or you just, uh, you don't need the mutton as much, and you're just looking to get it for wool, uh, you can use shears instead. And a shear is crafted with two iron, by the way, so you don't even need a crafting table for it. So besides that, um, a sheep, by the way, I believe, let me do a little demonstration here. If you kill it, it does drop mutton, but it does not drop any more wool. So if it's sheared, if I were to shear the sheep again, kill it, it wouldn't drop any more mutton. The wool, that uh, wool I had was from before, I believe. And so, it's important to note, by the way, since uh, netherite does 8 attack damage, that it kills the sheep instantly. And let me get the sheep back. So, uh, I was gonna explain colors. So, when you walk around your survival world, survival world, you'll notice that a lot of sheep are there. They naturally spawn. And they can naturally spawn with a variety of colors. For example, here's a white sheep, and they can also naturally spawn with, in, uh, this is the order, the likelihood, uh, how likely it is that you'll actually see a sheep with this color. So we have the white, the white dye by the way, that's the most common, light gray, gray, I believe they're about the same, uh, black, and then brown, and then um, you have pink being the hardest to find naturally. Uh, so if you do find a sheep, uh, it can be any one of these colors. Typically it'll be white, but it can go be even, it can even be pink. But if you want to make it your own color, you can get some dye of any color. Let's take, let's say green. That's something that doesn't naturally show up. What you can do, you can go up to here and you can see a little dye button. You can press that. Now you can see it kind of blends in, but uh, it's a green sheep now. I can also maybe take the cyan dye. Now it has cyan. Now if I try to shear it, you'll notice that it drops cyan wool. If I want to reset it back to something else, I can just use white dye or once it grows wool. So it'll, it'll have to eat again. We'll just wait for that. But once it does, we can put white dye on it and it will go back. There you go. Now we can dye it back to white. So, that is one thing that is pretty cool to note. And uh, besides that, um, there's one little cool feature. I know I don't typically, I try not to cover like small features that aren't that useful. This is something that's actually a little bit of a secret in Minecraft. It's kind of an open secret at this point because a lot of people know about it. But maybe if you're a bit newer, you might not know about this. If I take an anvil, take a name tag, name tags can be found in dungeons, uh, anvil, 
crafted with 31 iron. Let's say I want to name, uh, if I name this Jeb underscore, I can actually get a rainbow sheep, Jeb underscore, all lowercase. You can see that the sheep changes colors. But if I were to shear it, it's not that exciting. It just drops the wool it was originally, and you can see it just ate grass. It just drops normal white wool, not rainbow wool. So that's something cool, and uh, I guess kind of there. And also, you can breed sheep. As you can see, this one naturally spawned in the light gray color. So what we're gonna do? Um, I'm just gonna change this back. Oh. oh, we have to remove the name tag. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. Uh, either way, so what you can do with sheep is if you take some wheat, you can see that they're attracted to me. You can feed it to them. You can see if hearts come out. And this is how you breed sheep. So you'll notice that there's a white sheep that comes up. If I were to take, however, Let's say I took uh, a black sheep and a white sheep. So let's bring them all here. Let's breed this one. 